Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an easy way of calculating how much material you need for a homemade rivet. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's dive into the meat of this subject. So, really the meat of this subject is how much to how much material do you need in a homemade rivet to make something that like is like a factory made rivet. Well, Factory made rivets come in all sorts of different lengths and sizes and diameters. The first thing that you have to determine is what style head you are going for for the rivet. Is it going to be a flat head? Is it going to be flush? Is it going to be or recessed down into uh, a chamfer of some kind, a pocket? You have to know what type of rivet you are going for with to begin with. So there's just this is just a general rule of thumb that I've come up with if you're trying to come to even being close to having a nice round head domed head rivet here. This piece of material will make this rivet here. Now, it won't make it as tall as this rivet is as I would need just a little bit more material for that being so. but. The way that I've calculated this and I've figured out, and this is my rule of thumb, is so say you have two six mil pieces or quarter inch thick pieces. This is by one inch, this arbit arbitrary, don't worry about that measurement. But it's the thickness that we have to worry concern ourselves with. Well, these two six mil pieces put together, considering quarter inch in America is just a hair over that, this would be actually just a little over 12 mil or it's 12.5 mil thick or half inch here in America. So half inch thick material, what do we need to come up with to create enough material on each side in order to produce a nice round domed head like this using our rivet block and our rivet set? Well, what I've come up with is whatever the thickness of the material is. So say this is a half inch or, or say that this is this doesn't always work out, but say this is half inch thick. This is just a real quick, easy way of figuring it. I look at it by eyeball, and I feel what's about the right weight. The diameter, whatever, one and a half times the diameter of the rivet is, is what needs to take and stick out both sides. That is a pretty commonly accepted formula for figuring out how much you need for a rivet. But as I said, that won't necessarily work in every situation. So what I usually use is the eyeball method. I figure out, is that enough to make that head there? I think it is. Well, a few ways that we can check that. You can take a factory produced rivet and push it through and measure the difference. Once again, the factory has already taken into effect what length rivet it needs to produce a decent size heading operation on the other end. This rivet is just long enough to go through half inch or it looks just about right. So you would select this, measure that distance, and that's what you need to make your homemade rivets to. Because chances are that head was produced with the same volume of material as a homemade rivet would have been to equate antiquate out to the same thickness through. Now, this may sound complicated or uh, complex of a method, but really it's just simplifying, it's simplifying the process here. If you get into doing a ton of calculating and a ton of figuring and constantly going to the drawing board but not getting any work done, that's not helpful to you and it's actually a hindrance to wanting to do rivet work or pursue certain jobs because of the time it's going to take you to calculate out and, and figure all this out. I learn a little bit by trial and error, so I would encourage you guys to take and take a piece, take a small simple project, much in the same way like tongs or a small simple project that you can do, or a pair of quick tongs or something of that nature, or even just drill a bunch of holes in two pieces of bar like this and practice rivets. That way you can get yourself a running standard. So the way that I have figured out is a 3 8 you usually, a 3 8 inch rod 
usually you want a half inch of material out both ends. And for my friends across the pond, that's a 10 mil rod. You want to have about 12 mil sticking out or 12 and a half mil on both sides of your piece. This here is arbitrary. This can be however thick you want. But to produce that head on a 3 8 inch rod, you need, like I said, one and a half times the diameter. That's what they did to get this right here. So that's what you need for your regular rivets. I hope this was informative. Uh, feel free to disagree with me in the comment sections below if you want. Uh, just do it in a constructive way. And, you know, maybe we can all learn something. What is your guys' ways that you figure out rivets and how to do them? I don't believe there's a right and wrong way of doing this as long as the rivet comes out like you're wanting it to be. If you're having unsatisfactory results, keep adding a little length to it until you find the formula that works best for you. But as a general rule of thumb, on a 3 8 inch rod, and you can scale this up larger or smaller, as a general rule of thumb, you want a half inch of material, or 12 and a half mil, sticking out both sides of the piece. Doesn't matter how long this is, but at least a half inch of material sticking out both sides of the piece. Hope you found this somewhat insightful, somewhat helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, you may want to take and hit that like button and the little jingly bell and subscribe to get notifications whenever I post new videos on the subject of blacksmithing. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one.